Hello everyone, thanks for watching another video of mine. This is another technical drawing video and today's topic is going to be architectural working drawings, okay? So you're going to know about architectural working drawings and I'm, I'm going to go through a couple multiple choice questions so um, you can understand um, what the topic is all about, okay? So again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And these are my social media links. I have a Patreon now if you would like to um, donate to the channel as it takes time to do these videos, okay? So let's go. Okay, so number one says the building construction industry relies on sets of dash drawings, meaning what type of drawings, to construct homes and commercial buildings. Okay, so the building construction industry um, requires either mechanical, isometric, or architectural working drawings, or all of the above. Okay, so I'm going to show you what mechanical and isometric drawings are and then I'm going to show you the answer okay all right so this is an example of uh, a mechanical drawing and it shows the front view and the side view of the piece that is above and also the cross section okay so this is a mechanical drawing uh, this is an isometric drawing with some of the lines are at 30 degrees so this is an isometric drawing and then these drawings are called architectural working drawings okay so you have um, your elevations you have your floor plans foundation plans site plans you know location plan and so on okay so um, the ac the answer to this question would be architectural working drawings okay all right so if you want to construct a building or if you want to construct homes or commercial buildings um, you want to use or you want to do architectural working drawings okay all right all right so number two the text height meaning the size of the text for room names meaning the names of the rooms such as bathrooms um, kitchen and so on should be set to dash for a drawing that will be plotted to a scale of a quarter inch to one foot okay so a quarter inch scale um, would it be four inches would it be five inches high would it be six inches or eight inches high and this question is very subjective so I'm gonna go through um, what the answer to this question is and then I wanna say something afterwards okay so if you look at the table right below um, you will see the different scales the different DWG means drawing scale so you have all the different but they ask for a quarter inch right here and here you have a quarter inch right here so if you look across you will see text height in the table and there you have various text height for the quarter inch okay and the options are four inches five inches six inches and eight inches okay so usually the answer would be six inches okay but um it depends on um the paper size that you are printing on okay so it can be um if you're printing smaller drawings um, it can be 4.5 bigger six six inches nine inches or 12 inches okay so it depends on um, the size of the paper that you are drawing at okay so take this question as a um, subjective question where it varies okay All right. number three says the architectural drafter should usually begin a set of working drawings by creating the dash plan first which plan should they create first okay um, is it the foundation plan the floor plan elevations or the building section so here you have a set of working drawings as you saw before and the first thing that you usually um, do when you're building um, you're doing a set of drawings is the floor plan okay so these two drawings are examples of the floor plan and um, it shows you the layout of the building and after you've drawn the floor plans um, you can draw the other drawings from the floor plan okay 
So in order to begin the set of working drawings, you would have to do um, the floor plan first, okay? All right, number four says, once the architect has finalized the house plans with the client, any charges to the design requested by the client will require a dash, okay? So if you wanna make any changes to the, um, the house plans, um, what do you have to get? Is it a change order? Is it a, is it a modification slip? Is it a whole new set of drawings or is it none of the above? Okay, so what you would have to do in order to make any changes is actually get a change order, okay? And this is an example of a change order form where you have to fill out in order to um, to show the, um, the, not the client, but the architect that you want to make some changes to your drawing, okay? And then here you have what a change order is, is it is work that is added to or deleted from the original work of a contract. So once you have already gone through the contract and you want to make changes, um, you have to fill out a change order form to complete um, the changes, okay? So the answer would be A, all right, change order. All right, number five says the foundation contractor will work with the following architectural plans. The foundation contractor, okay? So the contractor comes to do the foundation, come to dig out um, the trenches and so on. What will he have to look at in order to um, proceed, okay? And the answer will be all of the above. He, have to, he has to look at the foundation, he have to look, has to look at the site plan, and to see where the actual house is and he has to look at the floor plan to see the layout of the walls and so on okay all right so the answer would be all of the above to ensure number six that everyone understands what the electrical symbols represents it is customary to include a dash on the electrical sheet so usually the electrical drawing has um, different symbols to show like a wanton plug, to show the lighting, to show um, everything that has to do with the electrical path of the building. And what you will need in order to understand all those things is an electrical legend. So here you have an example of an electrical legend. And here you have the symbols to the left in yellow. And then you have the description of what all those symbols mean. So all those symbols will be in the electrical drawing. And then you would have this electrical legend. Or it doesn't have to be exactly like this. But what you have to in the drawing, it would be next to the, um, the electrical plan. Okay. So the answer would be an electrical legend. All right. Number seven, on a floor plan, the dashed line that appears approximately 24 inches outside the exterior wall represents the dash. On a floor plan, the dash line that appears approximately 24 inches outside the exterior wall represents the dash. Okay, so is it a sidewalk? Is it a roof overhang? Is it a plumbing, is it plumbing drain lines or is it none of the above, okay? So I'm gonna show you what the dash line they're talking about. So here you have a roof plan and the dash line is around um, the building itself. So these are the walls of the building and the dash line is on the outside. So these dash lines um, represents the roof overhang, okay? So if you have water running off the roof, you don't want the water to um, run down the ends of the walls. Or else you have um, moss and so on um, developing. So you want to go a little bit out away from the walls and then um, maybe put like rain gutters to stop the water from dripping and so on, okay? So that's why you have the dash lines on the outside and it's usually about 24 inches outside the exterior walls. And here you have an example of the overhang looking at the elevation view. So the, here you have the wall and then you have the overhang. This one is one foot six, but they are usually um, two feet. So you have the overhang. So the water would run off of here and not touch the wall, okay? Um, the water would run off of here 
I'll run off of here and not touch the wall, okay? So um, the answer would be a roof overhang, all right? Number eight, the site plan illustrates dash, okay? What does the site plan show, basically? Does it show the floor plan? Does it show where the house sits on the property? Does it show the roof plan or does it show where the garage and the driveway are located? All right, so this the purpose of the site plan is to show where the house sits on the property. So here you have a site plan here. You have the corners of your property all measured out, but you don't know where the house um, sits on the property. So that's why you need um, the site plan to show exactly from the edges of the um the land itself where the house would sit at what angle it would sit and so on okay so the answer would be where the house sits on the property all right number nine generally the units used on architectural drawing on an architectural drawing are set to dash okay so when you open your autocad drawing or home card or any kind of CAD um, software um, you want to use architectural settings. So here you have for AutoCAD, here you have the um, the units and you can change the unit from archi architectural to decimal and so on. Okay, so you want to use this um, unit when you're drawing architectural drawing and this has to do with um, feet and inches. Decimal would have to do with like um, millimeters, decimeters, uh, meters and so on okay so you want to use an um, architectural the architectural setting for architectural drawings and that actually makes sense right okay so the answer would be um, architectural all right all right and number 10 elevation drawings will include information about dash elevation drawings will include information about dash and the answer to this would be um, all of the above because you want to see when you're looking at the building itself from the front or the side and you're just standing looking at it you would see the pitch of the roof mean the slant of the roof you would see um, the finish which is the siding on the wall and also you would see the style of window that is being used okay whether it's a wooden window or a PVC window or a metal window and so on so these elevation drawings are also very important where you know um, the materials that are being used and the measure and the, um, the pitch of the roof that are being used on the building that you are going to build, okay? All right, so the answer would be all of the above, okay? So, if you understood these questions and if you understood about uh, working drawings, um, hit the like button. Um, comment if you did have a question or you do have a question comment if you didn't understand something and you need um, um more explanation um also leave a comment share this video with your friends um subscribe to the channel again if you haven't and thanks for watching these are my social media um connections if you have any questions or you need anything by email okay all right I'll see you on the next one shortly, and thanks for watching. Bye.